WWE hinting a big fee for the undisputed WWE Championship. As the bloodline acknowledgement ceremony was about to begin, Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton stormed the event, seeking revenge for the previous week's beating. After driving off their rivals, Rhodes praised Owens as a WrestleMania headliner and hailed Orton as a 14-time world champion and future Hall of Famer. However, his next statement hinted at events to come. Cody said, I see a sold-out world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Rhodes continued, You see magic like this, a crowd like this. I should be defending my WWE Championship here tonight against a worthy, credible opponent. Orson, who had been stomping around the ring, rhyming up the crowd and absorbing the atmosphere, froze mid-stride, directly behind Rhodes' shoulder. Like a viper ready to strike, he craned his head, his eyes narrowing with a fierce intensity as he glared at the champion. As Rhodes mentioned facing a worthy challenger, Orton seemed to snap out of a trance as a predatory grin spread across his face, suggesting he had something in mind. Following Rhodes' first televised title defense at Backlash, he expressed a desire to face Orson, acknowledging the challenge of measuring up to his former mentor, saying, I kind of want to find out. I know 10 years ago, Randy could wipe the floor with me, but I wonder what it looks like today. A potential obstacle to their matchup is their status as fan favorites, particularly Orson. Since returning from a nearly two-year injury layoff, fans have embraced Orson in a manner unprecedented in his career. Because of this, it's hard to imagine audiences turning against him, especially as he enjoys perhaps the peak of his popularity. But as the chill of fall descends and the leaves begin to turn, so too may Orton as his desire for Rhodes title casts a menacing shadow over their friendship. Solo Sikoa's bloodline is evolving at a greater pace than ever. With Tama Tonga and Tonga Lo's exhilarating entry, the idea of Bloodline 2.0 has come to life. Amidst the absence of Roman Reigns, his former right-hand man seems to set his armies right to strike back whenever the former reclaims his domain. Now, from this point in time, with Fatu officially siding with Siko and the Bloodline, we can imagine Reigns opting for a reconciliation with the Usos to form a counter-team upon returning. But who could be the fourth personality in the Reigns squad to equate the opponent numbers? Jim Cornette has an interesting answer to this. Per him, Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn might come off as a foe turned Nanai to strengthen the RG bloodline ahead of the much-anticipated civil war. In the June 26 episode of the Jim Cornette Experience, the host noted, if you needed a fourth person if you're just going based on that, Solo, Jacob Fatu, the Tom Guns, Roman Reigns are reunited Usos. Remember, Sami Zayn was a big part of that story for a long time. He was an honorary use for the record. So what are your thoughts? Should Sami Zayn join Roman Reigns? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.